active beach here. How are you? Good, and yourself? Frustrated, Nancy. I need some leads, and you're my man, huh? Well, woman, teen, student, whatever. I'll be at Maxine's diner. Come see me when you've found out anything. All contact should be through me. Can do. So what's our cover? Our what? Um, our cover. Who should I say you are if anyone sees us and asks? Oh, right. Uh, I'll be your uncle. Uncle Steve. I gotta go now. If you need anything else, come see me at Maxine's. I'm wearing glasses and a green striped shirt. Whoa, a new girl at school. Do you realize what destiny has brought you today? Yours truly, Hector Sanchez. But you can just call me the Hulk. How did you know I was new here? Hey, you're talking to the man, the number one football player in the state of Florida. I know all the beautiful girls at Paseo del Mar High. Are you kidding? How do you know all the other girls at school? Isn't it obvious? I'm tall, dark, handsome, not to mention a superstar athlete. Everybody knows Hulk Sanchez, and the Hulk knows everybody. Did you know the guy who was killed? I knew Jake, but I didn't hang out with him. Sorry, can't talk now. I gotta go to practice. Later. Get Connie over here to fix it! Hectanol is a steroid and was one of the drugs stolen at the drug station. Hi, I'm Connie. You're not from around here, are you? Usually, Paseo del Mar High is really quiet and boring. Lately, it's been totally out of control. Out of control? One of the students was killed last week. Who was killed? Oh, just this wannabe stud named Jake Rogers. What do you mean? Jake Rogers was a total creep. Nobody liked him. I gotta go now. Later. Hey, Nancy. Need something? Your medallion has a symbol that means crane. And crane is the name of the judo school on the poster in the gym. What a coincidence. Funny, I never noticed. I gotta go now. Later. What is it you want now? Someone set off the alarm on the soda machine again. Ugh. Watch the fort while I'm gone. This looks exactly like the one in Jake's locker. Hi, my name's Nancy Drew. What's your name? Al Tanaka. Actually, my first name is much longer than that. But I want to fit in here in America. So I chose Hal as my nickname. I'm a Japanese exchange student. Why do you think it's easier to have an American name? I want to be part of the culture and succeed in this country. Why do you admire Americans? They're such open people. I admire the freedom here. If you work hard enough, you can achieve anything. Why do you work so hard? I feel uncomfortable speaking about this now. Please excuse me. Have you heard of Hulk Sanchez? Heard of him? Hulk holds the conference record for quarterback sacks. He's been the state's number one player since he was a freshman. He's also a candidate for a big university, even with his injury. Injury? Hulk got hurt a few weeks ago. Ever since that game, he hasn't played the same. I worry that his chances of playing for a top school are not as good as before his injury. You plagiarized your senior essay on etiquette, and Jake knew about it. Yes, Nancy. I'm very ashamed. My family will be extremely unhappy about this terrible mistake I have made. Somehow, Jake found out I copied that old essay. Then he blackmailed me into doing his homework for him. Why did you copy the essay? I had no other choice. My family won't let me stay in the United States unless I get a scholarship next year. I had to take extra courses to earn the scholarship. Before I realized what I had done, I was buried in work. I copied the essay because I was desperate. What happened when Jake found out? 
Jake demanded I do all his homework for the rest of the semester. Or he would tell my family everything. What else could I do? My family was depending on me to succeed. Were you desperate enough to kill him? I was not happy about the situation, but I would never kill anyone. I value human life. Please don't tell anyone about this, I beg you. You will gain nothing if you do, and it would destroy my family if they knew what really happened. I regret what I have done. Please let me have this chance to become a doctor. I promise to make up for this mistake, even if it takes the rest of my life. If you didn't kill Jake, do you have any idea who did? When I delivered Jake's homework to him the other day, he mentioned being late for a meeting with Daryl Gray. It was very strange. I didn't know they were friends. See ya. Goodbye, Nancy. How's it going? Tell me about the robbery at the drug station pharmacy. Why would I know about a robbery? All I know about is football. I'm really sorry you got injured. Does that affect your chances of playing college ball? I had a little sprain, no big deal. Within a week, I was better than before and impressing the football scouts. I'm as strong as ever. I gotta go. Bye. Welcome to Maxine's. I'm Daryl Gray. I don't think I've seen you here before. My name's Nancy Drew. I just moved down here. Then you'll be attending Paseo Del Mar High. I'm your student council president. If there's anything you need, just let me know. Thanks. I might just take you up on that offer. So, what can I do for you? Tell me about Paseo Del Mar High. It's a great school. Good teachers, nice students, lots of after-school activities. It's just too bad what happened. What happened? One of the students was murdered in the school last week. Who was murdered? A senior named Jake Rogers. He worked here, but I didn't really know him. He kept mainly to himself. Who did it? No one knows, and the police are keeping pretty clammed up about it. But my resources say they're calling in some special detective. Maybe even the FBI. Did this Jake guy have any enemies? Sure, doesn't everyone? I should get back to work. Nice meeting you, Nancy. Talk to you later. Oh, before I forget, someone left this note for you. Hey, bye, Nancy. student council president gone terribly bad. Let's take a look at what kind of homework he's bringing home from daddy's top secret military industrial aerospace factory. But what does Daryl do with this stuff? He's too stupid to really know what it all means. But he's not too stupid to know how much these industrial secrets are worth. You see, Daryl's selling out to our local air conditioning guy, Mitch Dillon. Not sure what a guy specializing in HVAC does with satellite schematics, telemetry encodings, and signature intelligence, but I'm sure whatever it is, it's not exactly legal. But it's probably worth a lot of money to Mitch to keep it quiet. Breaking news, check it out. I found out who Mitch is selling Daryl's secrets to. 
this dude. Can you imagine? This dorkoid is the ringleader of some kind of clearinghouse for military secrets. And Mr. Clueless just forgot his journal full of important notes like contact numbers, system passwords, project code names, amounts paid, etc., etc. And some other stuff I don't understand, but I can tell that this guy will pay top dollar to get it back. But just in case, should anything happen to me, I'm putting the journal in a safe place. I taped it underneath one of the book carts at the school, but I doubt he'll give me much trouble. Just a ton of cash. So if you find this video, come look me up. I'll probably be long gone from Paseo del Mar and tanning my bod on my very own private island, retired at 17. I need something this work. <gasps> Detective Beach, I didn't expect you. I just thought I'd come by and see how you're doing. You seem kind of in a hurry. Did you find the journal? Yes, I found your journal. My what? Uh, Jake's journal. I found Jake's journal. No. You said my journal. You said that you found my journal. Why don't we step into the living room and have a nice chat about where my journal is, hmm? Oh, and why don't you give me your cell phone? I'd hate to be interrupted during our little tete-a-tete. -tete. So, this Detective Beach, an undercover assignment, was just a ruse to get me to find your journal. You killed Jake, didn't you? Yes, I did con you into this undercover charade, and you just ate it up. I mean, you had the lingo, the self-important attitude. You're a real snoopy Susie, aren't you? But as far as murder goes, no. That was my former partner, Mitch Dillon. But stop with this delaying tactic, Detective Nancy. Where's my journal? It's in the entrance, behind the tapestry. What's the combination? Mu Pi Phi Zeta. That's not it, Nancy. Mu Pi Phi Zeta. You're trying my patience, Detective Drew. What's the combination? Mu Pi Phi Zeta. Hey! What the? Get me out of here, Nancy Drew! I'm sure the police will be happy to transfer you to another set of bars. So long, Detective Beach, and hello, prisoner number 4321A. Dear Dad, case closed. Mitch Dillon and his boss, formerly known as Detective Beach, are on their way to prison. The police still don't know his real identity, but his trade in top-secret information has been stopped, thanks to Aunt Eloise's burglar-proof safe. Daryl has confessed to selling information about his father's military projects. Despite the damage this has caused Gray Enterprises, Daryl's father has forgiven him. Connie returned her trophy, but the Judo Club refused to take it and is opening their competitions to women next year. Hulk agreed to pay for the damages to the pharmacy, and Hal has gotten his scholarships. And I'm headed to the beach, where the only cover I'm going to go under is a beach blanket. See you soon! Nancy.